Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. For me, I'm just looking for in the day-to-day -day of how am I going to make a living. You see, I'm still a victim of cybercrime. I'm still the guy that's getting hit by a high pitch that is not mine. I have never in my life had trouble going to sleep, and I've never in my life had trouble going, coming awake. But there are people in this community who like to use technologies that they're used learning at university to harm a human being life like me or you. And when I say like you and when I talk about me, I'm hoping that every single time I talk about me, you think of you. Because that's what somebody is trying to do. That God is trying to say, who are you in the house of the Lord? Who are you in front of me? Who are you in front of my King Jesus? Who are you in front of me, the lords of all the ages? Who are you in a world of clash of titans? And who are you to talk to my son and tell him he's not good enough to be in my house? You see, American culture is really great at one thing. Judgment, apparently. American culture is really good at nothing called discernment. You see, the Lord gives us plenty of gifts. They're called the gift of the Spirit in our Bibles and our little aspects of the Quran. And what we know is we can learn about angels and we can learn about jinn. But if you don't understand the difference, if you don't have the gift of discernment, then you might be being guided, being, being guided by the wrong sort of jinn. Now when I talk about jinn, do you even know what I'm talking about? Or do you think I'm talking about an alcohol drink? And if you don't know that the jinn is a different word for angels or devils overseas, you don't, don't know anything about me. You see, I have the right to profess the name of the Lord in my own way. I can go and put God to the test any day. But let me tell you, when I'm sitting down in a different spot everywhere along this street, and the birds of the air literally come and find me because they've already gossiped amongst their geese to say, Hey, that one there, that one with the crazy little cart, he feeds you and me. So that I almost know practically, without my consent and without my intent, almost every geese family. And there's one with 28, literally 28 children. Can you imagine having to pay for that? And how do we supposed to feed that? You see, as American citizens, we're supposed to love our environment because it's our environment, motherfuckers, that feeds you and me. And it's our females, not at all, it's our males in the world that produce the lives for you and me. My late father worked for General Electric for almost 40 years. And I'll share this secret and some other fucker who's trying to play me with my cartoons and with my graphics all around town in order to benefit himself doesn't get that he's committing, well, identity theft. He doesn't get that he's committing fraud, or does he, and he's doing it anyway. Because in his life, nobody said, hey, look at you. Look at your heart. Look at your mind. Look at your soul. What do you love to do? And how can we turn that into a small business? Or how can we get you employed with it? And how can we take your best skill sets and put them into earnings for you? You see, the difference between a great man and the difference between a small man is superly significant. But in order to get ourselves out of different aspects of life, we have to be allowed to live our life. But you little shitbags in your community that are so strong and such a good network just thought you'd just keep pissing on someone's life because you felt like it. So go on back to your home country because you don't belong here in American soil and you certainly don't belong anywhere near me. But you're a motherfucking coward, you little faggot, because you're putting your hands on me in the night and I can feel it and I know it and I'm pissed off at the rape. Never in my life have I ever seen such a sinful city is pretty true. But this is the one God led me to so that I would help the world of men find you. You see, we have to stop and find the predators. And to catch a predator is not something I ever thought I'd have to do. But I've been bait for a long time and it's great for someone else's life. But it's not great for me. So the minute that the military gets here, the minute that they start showing themselves not clear, the minute that they do everything they're supposed to, the bastards of the community that use their social networks and their telephones to abuse someone's life are going to jail. And the thing is, whether you make American jail or whether you make it while you're living, you never thought in your life that you'd go to jail when you leave your life. You see, so many people forget about the afterlife that they don't think about, what does God think of me? What does God think of me putting my hands in this man's pockets and stealing his paltry money? 
What does God think about me putting my hands on this man's computer that he's carefully put away, hidden is to the best of his ability, when I pick him up while he's sleeping like a baby and steal his shit? Today I found that the books I was carrying had a nice case around it to keep it, you know, marvelously from the rain because I don't have that many waterproof backpacks and I'm not a crazy man about backpacks. But basically the thing that I've been carrying them in carefully and gingerly to keep them clean for me has been ripped. And one of my books that I received by purchasing with my own money over at Barnes & Noble, basically, or was it Borders? No, maybe it's Barnes & Noble, has actually been replaced. I had a much larger copy, and I know that because of how it fit in the bag, but now I've got a little aversion because what did I do, little motherfucker? I t showed you the book. I taught you about the book. You went to order the book, and the new edition came, and it didn't have the same look. So listen to me, you little shitbag social scientists of our community. You have lied to yourself about your rights. You're going to die and go to heaven, not at all. And when you're done pissing on my life with your inappropriate comments in your mind, listening to me all the time, you literally will be going to hell. The panhandlers of the street are the cyber hackers that you and me hate in the world most of all. They can pretend to be doing nothing by sitting their ass on a sidewalk with a coin cup and looking like a baby to you and me. But their version of business is just a slightly undercated version of business and openly the whole time it might be subterfuge. So that while they're doing that, they're actually getting on their phones and doing all sorts of other things to you and me. There's definitely some people that I've seen the actual pattern because of my journalistic background that every time they play by me, something goes missing off my computer, something happens to my cell phone, like changing the font size so an old man can't see. And these little motherfuckers think they are so fucking righteous, they think they're Superman in their community. No, all you have to do is go across the street a few ways to that weekly hotel where people truly need to sleep and eat. But they're over there marveling at how much coolness they are for destroying American society.